guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. Well, you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, if you're a scuba diver and you love photography, there's a good chance that you're going to be into underwater photography and underwater videography as well. And a lot of you guys understand that sometimes in the scuba industry, things can be a little overpriced or a little bit higher than what we're really wanting to put a, a decent budget into. But there's a reason that we do that. Typically, the more expensive items are going to be the better item. It's going to be a more secure item. It's going to protect your equipment, whatever it may be. And in the case of, say, the Sea Life Sport Diver housing, that's kind of the case. They are a little pricey, but considering that it'll fit just about any phone out there, uh, whether it's a Droid or an Apple product, it's probably going to be the best bet for you. But with that being said, in today's video, we're going to actually test two other products. One of these products was actually sent to us. This is by a company called Viola T, and it's a phone housing. Basically what it is, it's a waterproof bag that allows you to insert your phone in it, and you can actually use your phone while underwater. So you can put it in video mode or camera mode, and you can touch the screen. So if you got a touch screen phone, simply put it in. It's a waterproof housing, and it's actually rated down to 30 meters of depth. So that's basically 99 feet. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna test this phone and see, or test this housing or this case and see how it works on your phone. We're also gonna be testing another product here and we're gonna do kind of a comparison between the two. And the reason we wanted to do that, we wanted to show you the difference between a waterproof bag that has some type of closure and a waterproof bag that is nothing more than a glorified Ziploc bag. So we're gonna be comparing these two products today and then kind of give you our final thoughts at the end of the video on whether we think they're worth it compared to say a higher end model phone housing such as the Sea Life model here. All right, before we go jump in the water with this thing, I wanna go ahead and show you how easy it is to install. You've got these little clamps, these little kind of like C clamps here, just kind of open right up. And what that's gonna allow is the actual mechanism, the waterproof mechanism here that holds the bag together to open. We're gonna pull out the little insert paper here and we're gonna go ahead and insert a smartphone here. If we can get it in there. This thing is rated just for certain types of phones as far as size wise. So if you've got the, the larger model smartphones, you may have a little difficulty getting it in there. And it is, it appears to be kinda of sticky as well. And we're going to line up everything here, just like that. I'm going to clamp it down, and theoretically, I should be able to do everything. Now, my cameraman's actually going to unlock his phone real quick because this is his phone. And there we go. As we can see, the phone is open. Uh, we can go to his YouTube here. We can look up, see what he's been watching on YouTube. We, let's see if we can close that out. And yeah, we can go to his clock, we can go to any feature on here, and it's gonna be able to operate very, very easily. But let's take this thing in the water and see how it works. All right, so this is actually gonna be a relatively quick and easy review for us. Like I said, we're gonna be testing two different products here. Um, the Vivalac T is the one on the left there, and the one on the right is just a generic um, phone case that's also rated down to about 30 meters. Um, and prices on these are not too bad. It's about 21 bucks on the Viva La T and then about $12 on the other one. And I'm gonna go ahead and be honest, guys. We are not testing our phones in this. I'm sorry, we just don't trust them that much. But we are putting phone cases in here. It's got a little bit of paper in it just to see if there's any moisture it gets in. But we're gonna see how they do. We're gonna take them down to roughly 99 feet um, here at our local quarry. This is what we call the deep platform here. And it's currently sitting at about 96, 97 feet. Uh, based off the water level here, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull them both out and we'll, let's see uh, Let's see how they hold up see if there's any water in them See if the closures have opened up now the first thing you will notice is they're pretty floaty That's because there's air in the bag uh, I'm sure if you had a phone inside of it that the displacement of that phone with it being more dense than just the bags that it would uh, Stay down, but they're pretty floaty without the phones in it there You can see we're exactly at 96 feet, which is where the platform is and then it's another foot uh, below the platform into the seal here on the, the deep side of the quarry. But they appear both to be actually holding up very well. We're gonna go ahead and um, continue on with our dive here and see, uh, see if they'll hold up. We're gonna make about an hour long dive. 
Now we're during, this is during our safety stop and you'll see that this bag has already broke its seal. Uh, you can see the water inside the bag, a little bubbles there that's in there rolling back and forth. Uh, and that's that's the El Cheapo 1299 case, but the um, the Viva Lake T case is actually held up pretty well. There we can see once we're back on the surface, we can see that the cheap 1299 bag um, has got plenty of moisture in it. And once again, this is why we didn't want to use our phones. Uh, we're not advocating that you go out and dive with these. We just wanted to test. Uh, the functionality of them, see if they actually held up the way they were they were supposed to. That 1299 case, absolutely not. Let's go ahead and check the uh, Viva La T case here and uh, see if there's any moisture in it. Uh, one thing that I will tell you that the secured top here, that A clamp system or that C clamp system that they use to secure, um, it actually got a little bit of a vacuum to it, so it was a little bit more difficult to open it after the dive than what it was before the dive when I put the phone uh, housing or the phone case in there. Um, and like I said in the earlier part of the video as well, it's got a little bit of tackiness to it. So it, it's a little hard getting your phone pushed down in there. Even if you had a smaller phone, it's going to catch on that material. And then of course, uh, getting it out was even more difficult. But, um, but yeah, absolutely no moisture. I was very impressed that 30 meters, 99 feet, there's absolutely no moisture that got inside this bag. Very impressed. Alright guys, there you go. That's our review of the Via Lac-T phone case. Uh, what do I think about it? Well, it actually impressed me. I was very impressed that when we got down to 96 feet, there was zero leaks whatsoever. And compared to the lock sack, which is nothing more than a glorified Ziploc bag, it simply did not hold up to what this guy did. Would I ever use this for scuba diving? Probably not. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you can afford to go scuba diving, if you can afford the equipment, if you can afford a smartphone, you can also afford an actual housing that's designed to go down and record stuff. So with that being said, what would I use this for? Well, I would use it for everyday swimming. I would use it maybe if I was out paddleboarding or kayaking. I think it would be great if you were out just snorkeling at the surface because I think it can really shine through. You don't need a very expensive housing for that. You can get around for about $21. And I will drop you a link down below for this product as well. And the cool thing is, it's really only about $11, 10 or 11 bucks, because you get two in the package. So the fact that it came with two, and that I can still manipulate the screen, I think for the $21 value, it's gonna be very, very uh, good for you. But like I said, I probably wouldn't actually take it scuba diving with me. That's where the other housings would come in. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the review. It was fun testing out this product to see exactly how it would hold up. And it was actually quite impressive. We, we had zero moisture come in. We made about a 30 minute dive down to about 30 meters and it held up the entire time. But yeah, that's the Viva Lacti phone holder. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about it or if you've had this product in the past before. Tell me what your thoughts on it as well. You guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.